Welcome back to What Was That? I'm Gabe Sanchez. The first ever criminal trial of a former U.S. president has begun and Donald Trump is riding the struggle bus. Everything in his life is falling apart right now and Republicans are freaking out. Couldn't happen to anyone more deserving. This is how Donald Trump started his day in court. This is an assault on America. Nothing like this has ever happened before. There's never been anything like it. Every legal scholar said this case is nonsense. It should never have been brought. It doesn't deserve anything like this. There is no case, and they've said it. People that don't necessarily follow or like Donald Trump said this is an outrage that this case was brought. This is political persecution. This is a persecution like never before. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. And again, it's a case that should have never been brought. It's an assault on America. And that's why I'm very proud to be here. This is an assault on our country. And it's a country that's failing. It's a country that's run by an incompetent man who's very much involved in this case. This is really an attack on a political opponent. That's all it is. So I'm very honored to be here. Thank you very much. It's the same old routine. Blah, blah, blah. I'm the victim. Oh, woe is me. I'm being persecuted because I committed a crime and I don't want to be held accountable. And then once Trump finished whining, he went into court and fell asleep. Yeah, I have to ask you guys have been at the times have been live blogging uh, this uh, event. And 40 minutes ago, you wrote an observation that, that uh, I, I was very surprised. Trump appears to be sleeping, his head keeps dropping down, and his mouth goes slack. Tell us about that. Well, Jake, he appeared to be asleep, and, you know, he repeatedly his, his head would, would fall down. There have been other moments in other trials, like the, uh, the Agent Carroll trial, which was around the corner uh, in January, where he appeared very still and seemed as if he might be sleeping, but then he, then he would move. This time, he didn't pay attention to a note that his lawyer, Todd Blanche, passed him. His jaw kept falling on his chest, and his mouth kept going slack. Now, uh, you know, sometimes people do fall asleep during court proceedings, but it, it's notable given the intensity of this morning and a lot of what was being argued. Yeah, that's rather surprising. Trump has one job during this election, stay awake. You can't call President Biden Sleepy Joe if you're just going to doze off during your own trial. Well, just to Rachel's point about the, the campaign dynamics, the optics of all this and the... And the um, <laughs> sustained eye resting that apparently happened in the courtroom. I mean, I do feel like if you if you call your opponent Sleepy Joe, you have one job Stay for the awake. rest of the campaign, yeah. which is like you got to like <laughs> clockwork orange <laughs> those puppies like open at all times. But it's also interesting too to imagine. I mean, again, this man who I think is not a particularly emotionally regulated individual and does not have a tremendous degree of self mastery and discipline in a situation in which to your point, Ari, he doesn't control things in which he doesn't control the pace. The conversations are happening outside of his purview, but he has to sit there and watch it. I mean, it is, I, I really can't think of a thing that's more nightmarish in some ways for him, just at a personal level of like, you don't, you don't have like the stimulus. You don't, you're not getting like little ego bumps from some social media replies. And you just got to sit there and watch this day after day. I mean, this was day one. This is weeks and weeks of this. So just at the most sort of human level, I was just watching the reports today and thinking about just the sheer psychological torture. I really mean that, that is this. And then also the point that he keeps making, which is which is true, although not for the reasons he says, which is he's not on the campaign trail talking to people. Like he's not doing events with like, you know, the, the, the farmers in Michigan or some whatever swing state rally he would be doing. He's sitting in a courtroom in New York where he's accused of serious crimes and felonies where a serious case is gonna be presented. I mean, just look at this orange Snorlax. And when Trump finally did wake up from his beauty sleep, it was reported that his eyes were bloodshot. If there was ever a walking PSA on why you shouldn't stay up all night, rage posting on True Social, this is it. Trump also looks high as f in this photo, which makes sense when you remember the guy takes Adderall like candy. Or who knows, maybe Trump has pink eye. But you know what? Let's take a break from Trump's face and go outside the courthouse to see what his cult is up to. Donald Trump did nothing wrong! Donald Trump did nothing wrong! Donald Trump did nothing wrong! Oh, look who it is. It's Trump's favorite self-proclaimed Islamophobe, Laura Loomer. Let's check in with another group of Trumpers. And we wanted to make a hammock for President Trump, a one-off. And the response to it was very positive. And so we expanded the business to MAGA hammocks. So we have big hammocks, small hammocks with patriotic messaging, everything from Trump's name to save America to fake news. Right. Man, talk about perfect timing. Trump could really use a hammock for that nap of his. And speaking of perfect, I want to thank today's sponsor, The Perfect Gene. 
Hey, are you fed up with those old school uncomfortable jeans squeezing the life out of you? Tired of looking like a fashion disaster in baggy jeans that make you a laughing stock at your office or the bar? Is your partner giving you the side eye every time you wear sweatpants because you can't stand wearing jeans? Well, guess what? I've got the solution and they are my new favorite pair of jeans. The Perfect Jean. Today's sponsor, The Perfect Jean, finally solved all of your denim difficulties. They make great looking, perfect fitting jeans that are as comfortable as sweatpants. The secret? A special denim fabric that's super soft and has the perfect amount of stretch so you can squat, do yoga, or just sit around all day in them without ever having to take them off. They make six fits from skinny to thick thick and have a waist from 26 to 50 and lengths from 26 to 38. Big boys, short kings, tall dudes, and all the rest. They got you. For a limited time, our listeners get 15% off their first order plus free shipping at theperfectgene.nyc or Google The Perfect Gene and use code GATE15 for 15% off. I'm wearing these things as we speak. These things are not only stretchy, but they also fit great. These jeans are the most comfortable pair of jeans I've ever owned, and I cannot recommend these enough. You gotta get a pair. It's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc. Our listeners get 15% off your first order, plus free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges when you use code GABE15 at checkout. That's GABE15. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc. NYC with promo code GABE15. After you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them, so please support our show and tell them we sent you. F your khakis and get the perfect gene. So by the end of the day, Trump was trying a new strategy. Amazing things happen today. As you know, my son has graduated from high school and it looks like the judge will not let me go through the graduation of my son who's worked very, very hard. Uh, he's a great student. He's very proud of the fact that he did so well. And I was looking forward for years to have a graduation with his mother and father there. And it looks like the judge isn't going to allow me to escape this scam. It's a scam trial. And now he's crying about it on True Social. Who will explain for me to my wonderful son, Baron, who is a great student at a fantastic school that his dad will likely not be allowed to attend his graduation ceremony. Something that we have been talking about for years. The judge, Juan Mershon, is preventing me from proudly attending my son's graduation. Seems very unfair, doesn't it? But this whole event is unfair. Trump can whine all he wants, but now he's learning what it means to be a regular American. The more you f around, the more you're gonna find out. And let's get something clear. Barron's graduation is not until May 17th, and Judge Mershon said that he wasn't gonna decide on something before the trial even started. Also, Trump was never gonna attend Barron's graduation in the first place, just like he never went to any of his other kids' graduations. Actually, scratch that. Trump definitely went to Ivanka's graduation. You know, Trump's daughter, the one that he told Stormy Daniels that she looked like. And now, his son Eric Trump is trying to help push this narrative by tweeting, Judge Mershon is truly heartless and not letting a father attend his son's graduation. Again. This is a lie and the judge did not make a ruling. But what is truly heartless is stealing money from a kid's cancer charity like Eric Trump did. Even Trump's idiot lawyer Lena Hava jumped in. Not even allowing a father, never mind a former president, but a father attend his son's graduation. And let's not forget Passover, okay? Observant Jews have a right to go and, and, and pray to who they want and observe Passover. And this judge would not allow it, not for any of the attorneys. And there are observant uh, Jewish attorneys on the Trump team and as well on the DA team. It's just a sad state of affairs for the American people. I can assure you of that. Just when you thought Alina Haba couldn't be any dumber, she tries to use the Jewish community as their new excuse. Now, there were other idiots who went to Twitter to play armchair lawyer, like Elon Musk. This case is obviously a corruption of the law. Lawfare. Pretty ironic coming from the guy who paid $250,000 to silence a flight attendant after he exposed his penis and propositioned her for sex. Oh, and he also offered to buy her a horse. Oh, what a loser! But the worst tweet I saw came from Clay Travis, who told people to commit jury tampering. If you're a Trump supporter in New York City who is a part of the jury pool, do everything you can to get seated on the jury and then refuse to convict as a matter of principle, dooming the case via hung jury. It's the most patriotic thing you could possibly do. Again, this is jury tampering. It's a federal crime. What a idiot! So as Donald Trump's every move in the courtroom gets covered by reporters, he's going to whine and cry like the petulant child that he really is. And, and is, there's a pool in there. So there's someone mm -hmm. sending basically dispatches to us as we're sitting outside. Other and that's what, that's what I was part of, was the pool. And, and you were, so you were actually in the room for that. At, at one point, the pool said that he was glaring at you for several seconds. You had reported shortly before that during a break that, that he appeared to be falling asleep at one point as the proceedings were getting kind of tedious. 
Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I, I noticed it. He uh, made a, a pretty specific stare at me and, and walked out of the room. Um, I've been on the receiving end of, of said you, glares. I know you have. Um, I have too. I, I reported earlier that he had appeared to fall asleep. Now we had seen him, and I want to be clear that lots of I've seen lots of people fall asleep in courtrooms. I've seen jurors fall asleep. I've seen judges fall asleep. Um, if uh, if anyone falls asleep who's a criminal defendant in a case, we're going to report on it. Um, but he doesn't like when such things are reported, and I'm I'm guessing I don't know that that's what this was about. Um, I, I think that uh, having to sit there and be captive while we all report on him is going to be deeply uncomfortable for him. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching, and feel free to follow me at I am Gabe Sanchez. And if you'd like to support the show and get early access to episodes, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash I am Gabe Sanchez. Your contribution helps support independent journalism. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez, and this has been What Was That? <laughs>